Everybody okay? Yeah, just looked down at the GPS coming around the corner and by the time he's seen the road, it was too late. Well, at least everybody's okay. Yep. Gee whiz. Well, I called y'all. I don't know how much she's leaning on that tree right there. A bunch, probably. Yeah. A bunch, probably. I got another truck coming. It's probably going to take both to get. Yeah, at least I have a safety strap on it. Yeah, because it's, it's a big truck. Are the keys and all that still in it? You got the keys? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll, we'll probably get it secured and then if need be, we'll, we'll try to get it to neutral if it, if need be, but uh, it'll probably take a bit to get some stuff hooked up and see what's leaning against it and... I'm at your mercy. Whatever you guys need us to do, hook up, whatever. I'm probably going to turn around and probably face this one downhill. I don't know if there's a place for me to... You got, you got something bigger coming? No, I got something smaller coming, so I'll put, probably put the smaller one on the back side. He'll probably need to get around me too, so... There's a road right up here. Yeah, turn around right up there. Turn around and... Yeah. Sounds good. I'm probably going to be a bit. Has this been called in? I don't know if he called it in or not. Did you call this in to the PD? No. There's your answer on that one, I guess. Stuff at the fall, so yeah. Nobody got hurt, everybody was good. Okay. Well, as long as you're wanting to, I mean, I don't, I don't care. I just didn't know you guys. What? <laughs> they come around the corner. I mean, I like you said, you was one. Yeah, I tried to press the maps like part on top of my phone to turn it on. I looked down, looked back up, wheel came right here, right here. Are you in it too? Yeah. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Got lucky. Yeah, it was rough. Happens fast. Yeah, yeah there's no joke up here especially. I, I hate even getting my truck near the edge of this stuff. That blacktop gives way and you can see how much it's already lost. I know. Yeah, it's kinda of, it's kinda of crazy. I think I'll try to spin around and face this one down here. I got another truck coming and just let me know, man. See what's going on there with that. It's just probably call, just call in man if you need us we'll walk back come up. Okay. Up yeah, that's what I was hoping for when I come up through here. Maybe it won't, but you know how it is. As soon as you start, <laughs> that's when it'll be crazy. Right. Thank you, brother. Yeah, I accidentally stepped on that. Oops. He's almost here. Do you want him to come around? Yeah, I'm gonna, that's why I stayed down here. Hopefully he can pull through. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably back up. At least have to be past this tree. Be able to get a good, yeah. I'll probably have to be right up in here to, to okay. swing it that way. We'll have plenty of room to swing down there, you but. need to go forward more? Um, probably. Coven, if you could come up, come, come forward just a little bit more. I'll tell you when. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No, you can just, you can leave it up. I'll probably, I'm going to ride a winch cable down probably on one of those. Probably about yay, that'll be fine. That'll keep his front end on the ground. Yeah, okay. Yeah, both. Maybe. What do you need for both? I'm probably gonna need my other winch cable tied to that tree back there. You got a D-ring? I'll yeah. just over here. Probably don't need one. The the winch will probably just go straight into it. You're just gonna tie the truck off? Yeah, I'm just using it to okay. tie the truck off. I need as yeah. low as you can on that tree, and I'll give you slack. Back up down there. Back up down there. 
Let's try that for a second. Going down. Maybe, we might be able to see what we're doing over there. Goodness gracious. It'll probably scoot around it, hopefully. This here? Yeah, I'm gonna hope. I wonder if it has any toe straps. That's crazy. That's what I said, that it shows how important it is to strap to sit down. It rolled fast. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Usually the tow hooks on the front of these things are not very stout. No, I've had them Especially break. pulling Tow sideways. Side they're pretty good on a straight on pull, but the sideway pull. Yeah, they're just kind of snap. What do you want for that one? Heel strap? Yeah, I'll probably take a D-ring and just a cable. That's real slick. Oh, no, man. That diesel or something come down? Uh, I don't know if it was. They had a uh, bucket of water in the back. Maybe that's what it was. Boy, it's greasy, isn't it? Hey, Coven, we'll probably want to double yours back, too. Oh we'll probably want to double that one back, too. Double it back? Okay. Yeah. So you need a, uh, so you don't need that? Uh, but need a, uh, I just need the cable in, and I'll take this, and we'll take this D-ring, or take this cable, Coven, no, and hook it back to the boom. Okay. Hey, you need a snap block? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we'll probably have to have that truck tied off, too. Yeah, we'll do that. This one should be easy to pull. I could get this one. Okay. Just watch that cable, man. They got them splinters in them. They're awful. Big old metal splinter. Okay. Okay. Do I have that other strap up there, the yeah. gray one? Sure. <laughs> Man, I hate for you to make another round down. No, I ain't trying to throw it. <laughs> no, it you. Gets lost. Nah, <laughs> I've been there, been there, done that. Will it pull? Or she have it in gear? Okay. Let me see. I don't know how much. How much is there? Are we twisted up pretty good? Yeah, it'll be it'll be just about two inches. Hey, can you put that one in neutral? Perfect. Yeah, this one might give us a little fit. That's what I'm I'm thinking. It I might. I wish I had a saw to cut that stuff down. Well, we can try to cut it, man. I got a little. I got a little bit of a saw. She ain't gonna go over this. You're gonna bind. Yeah, and we don't need it pulling hard. Not going up that. Yeah. Yeah. No. Sorry guys, you missed Jeff getting a saw to cut this tree. And I'm gonna wait to plug it back in because it's probably noisy, this microphone right now. So we have Coven on scene with us. Reagan's with us. Okay guys, we're over here at uh Raccoon Lane. Ridge uh, Hollow. Ridge Hollow. We got <laughs> a uh got a roll over here. Keep you guys updated. So what happened? How'd it get down there? Do you, uh, want to, you want to talk to the camera and tell her how I got down there? I do. No? <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, all right. We'll have him do it then. What happened, Coven? How'd it get down there? Tell us the story. Well, I'm assuming from the trajectory, I'm assuming, <laughs> may, may have been at a high rate of speed, possibly. I Not don't accusing. know. He's going super slow. Not accusing? I, no, okay, super okay. slow. Do you see the tire track? Yeah. Where he uh, hit his brakes, and it looks like the brakes just locked up. Ah. Uh, and he went off the side. As soon as I turned to the side, the airbag deployed. Oh my gosh. And and you walked out of there because the airbags deployed. Yeah. Yeah. And he said that it rolled. And you can actually see right here where the side of the truck hit. See right there? It hit and then it just rolled. This is a Duramax 2500 HD. So it's a big one. So we have two trucks. We got red. We got black. I'm a trainee. I don't know what's going on yet. <laughs> I'm just so glad you were okay because that's... Yeah, that's... That's... that's cool. Yeah. I was so confused when I got it. I was like down there. I opened up the driver's door. And I just fell straight into the ground. Oh uh, my and god. I was like, okay, I guess I'm going through the back. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. And he had his barrels strapped in because he's responsible and they didn't go flying. It never happens. That never happens. There's the bed stuff's always all over the place. Just down here doing some landscaping. Got another one. That one all bowed up over, isn't it? That one right there. Everything's back in gear. Everything is locked in. Just needs to be tightened. What are you thinking? See how far uh, this front end will go. Yeah. See his emergency brake set? He just, he'll have to, probably have to come up higher. Yeah. Oh, I need to stand back. Just by the front of the truck, it's fine. Thank you. So just keep an eye on your hip. If the, if the truck starts to come down your way, then you know it's coming this way. But keep try to keep this one tight with me. Okay. Just pressure. You don't really have to pull for, for just yet, but just pressure. Okay. I don't, it's not even. I want, yeah, no, you're good. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to try to get that the front end around that tree is going to be the hard part. How much windscreen do you have on that? How much? I'll stay over here with you. Okay. Yeah, I've got the front on that. I was just didn't want it to hang up on that tree up there. So yeah, yeah, Coven, see if you can pull the back end up a little bit. Just pay attention to the back of your truck.
It's going. Okay, Going good? It's coming. Slowly but surely. We got Coven helping pull. Coven's got a little black over here. We're in big red. Um, it's down there, guys. It's it's a good ways down. I might try to pull the front now and see see what happens. Let me give a little front and see what happens. If it, if it starts to pull hard, you can always go up with yours. I don't, I can't, I think there was a stump there that I cut. Yeah. But if you feel it. The stump was over here on this side. I think it was over here, but I think this debris is probably going to get in the way. Okay, just get, if you notice it bogged down, there might be one. I don't want to cut his back tire with that. Okay.
I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a winch cable spool issue. Okay. Ours is doing good. Hey Coven, will you hand me the the bar, your pry bar on the back of the truck? We can unhook the tree if you need us to. Um, we might. Um, I'll need you to work this. Okay. We're going to go in with it, which will be back towards me. Okay. Um, else? Yes. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. I think I might be on track there. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Once we get it up, hopefully it'll go under. Now I think I think once I get the truck up, I'll try to tuck it. I, I was just worried about the front tire grabbing that asphalt. Yeah. To grab and blow right in front. I know that would be the bad part. I'm thinking I'll be high enough once I get here, though. I can always raise the boom up a little bit, but yeah, I mean it's it's in there, man. Whatever it is, it's. Let me see if I can get the saw. Did we put the saw back up? It's in front of the dolly. Right. Yeah, we've come this far without blowing a tire. We ain't trying to. Yeah, I'm a, hopefully it'll, I don't know what it'll do, but if I could get a hold of whatever's in there. That's the stuff in, woo! That seems a little better. I've got those. Watch your shoulder on that cable. We can always get it off the road as long as we're. That might just act as a cushion. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like that. At least we'll be able to see what's going on there. Not just yet. Okay, see if you can get yours. If I've got mine super tight, Coven, 
then it'll it'll hold it from going down that way so i want to get mine as tight as possible before you pull so it'll stay away from us down here okay see if you can go The darn motor's worth more than the truck. I'm sorry? I said the dollar, the, the motor's probably worth more than the truck. <laughs> well, I'm actually really glad it was this truck because I think I got a head gasket going out in it anyway. Man, insurance is a good thing, man. I just, it might have been just, like you said, might have been for a good cause. The head gasket was getting ready to go, then just let the insurance eat it and. Yeah. Dang tree right there saved their That band. saved the whole, it, it'd have been down there in that church parking lot probably. Sure. <laughs> I like this cushion. It comes right up with those weeds on it. Right? <laughs> Cut is a good thing. Yeah, you can. much trouble they let me get me in if I tried to drive it with that windshield all messed up. Put it on the way home. It might run, I don't know, it depends on what he did to this front end when he went off this sharp lift. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it if they're down there at the bottom <laughs> waiting on you then <laughs> I'm gonna just drag it back to that spot and bring my flatbed and come back out. Okay, go and hold up right there. Hold it. Okay, take yours. Bring yours down. You're, and then pull in at the same time. So in, yeah, put put yours down, but go in with. Don't give it any slack. Just keep the keep the winch cable tight. Come on, how far, how far is your back tire? Is it close? Uh, that's pretty close? Will you be able to make it? I think you could, uh, no? I don't think so. It's still off. It's still off. And that back wheel is kind of bending out. Yeah. I, think, I think if you boom down, it's Okay, over. come back up then. You don't have to do anything with the winch coming up. Yeah, just winch it over now. Yeah, now that that one's on, just come back down. But make sure you got winch pressure. Yeah. I'll probably have to pull forward. Yeah, get get some pressure. There you go. Hold it right there. Let me see. I don't I might have to
I'm gonna try to inch forward just a little bit, ever so slightly. It's a close. Oh. It's over your head there, your back side of your head. Does he have any? He don't have any, does he? He's got about six inches. Do you want to pull it? No, I've got probably just enough. Right there. <laughs> okay, I want to ease forward a little get a little bit again. No, I, it'd be just as easy for me to go down the hill. What do you think, my friend? Hopefully, get enough, it'll set there, yeah, right? It'll still sit right down just like that. <laughs> Man, I can't. That's a, whew, that's a tight squeeze. Uh huh? No, I'd let him stay. I'm gonna unhook, so keep him just like he is. Yeah, man, that takes some some pretty pretty good grunt on that one. Yeah. Thank you, man. You said like, you felt like, <laughs> like your body fell down. Here. And I was like, man, there you go with them. <laughs> He's, he wasn't messing around. Yeah, like the truck got flipped over twice. <laughs> he, he knew it was serious at that point. <laughs> yeah. He had a buff out. <laughs> yeah. Flex seal. <laughs> That's the new work rig for sure there. He ain't messing around. When he's ready, Coben, just let him out okay. with that one. I'm gonna go up here and undo your other one. Are we, is he going forward? Is he going forward or back? He's gonna go forward. He's gonna go hard right and come back over here. Okay. See if we can get more of the truck on the road. You want to come way down right now? If he's in neutral, but he'll probably want to turn first as hard as he can. Okay, it'll probably go more. So yeah, let him out. Let him out a little bit, Coben. See if it'll go. Just slowly. And he'll turn as you let out. It'll probably be easier for him to turn that way. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, keep coming, Coben. Yeah, we're in good shape there. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Just watch that cable. Don't trip over that cable. Yeah, you're good, Coben.
You want to go with that? Let's go with that. All right, see if you can go to park. If you can get park again, hopefully. Yep, he's parked. Good job, guys. Okay guys, we just got finished up. Man, that was that was a really long recovery. We were up there for a little over two hours. Got really lucky that there were trees on the opposite side, so we got the trucks tied off to the left side, and then we were able to run double back winches to the right side for the initial pull. It was just a slow and easy thing, guys. You know, like Kristen, Kristen was saying, I, I wish it would come out as fast as it, it goes in, and <laughs> that was uh, just a slow process. We were trying not to tear up, you know, any tires and things like that. Um, we had to saw down some trees to get it in there, but that call came in. There's like a maintenance crew? I think it's insulation, spray foam insulation. Yes, that makes sense because that's what those barrels were. The barrels were empty, I asked before we got started. But yeah, he said he'd come down the hill, just the one fellow there in the truck by himself. He didn't have his seat belt on, but uh, he come down around that corner and he told me he looked down at his phone and uh, just a split second, and that's all it took for that one wheel to just suck him completely off. And it rolled a couple of times, landed up against that tree. The tree was the only thing holding it. It would have went down to that church parking lot, which was hundreds of feet down. But uh, the, the tree stopped it. Lots of kudzu and trees to cut out of the way. We got all that stuff done. Just a very lucky fella. Oh, he was very fortunate. So that was a tough one, guys. We needed both trucks. Coven, appreciate the help. He um, he did great. He's, he's learning this stuff. One day old dad's gonna be able to sit and watch him. Hopefully, and mom. <laughs> but uh, we're here, guys, heading back. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything else I needed to add to that one? I'm sorry, guys. We didn't get an intro, an outro. Nobody knew what was going on. <laughs> Something usual. <laughs> yeah. It just called. The call come in. It was kind of a, a rush, rush. You know, he said it was 40 or 50 feet down a ravine. It was up against a tree and. Uh, it was kind of urgent, uh, but I'm glad he was okay. We got him out of there. Uh, he, uh, hopefully the insurance company will be kind to him. I don't know, but it is a work truck and things are hard to replace this time of, this time of the year. Everything's expensive, but uh, yeah, it worked out great. Uh, drop a comment down below, guys. Let us know what you think on, uh, on that recovery. Like I said, that was one of our longer ones. Lots of uh, maneuvering and figuring out how to make the truck stay where they're gonna they're going to pull. That's always my my biggest fear is, is getting close. We've got to get close to the edge and that edge is soft and we need a little ump. We didn't want to pull the trucks off. So trees. I love trees. Uh, William, Holmes trees. We love them. I guess another shout out to, uh, to William as well. He texted me the other night and uh, was he was honest. He said, put those vests on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, we always jump out of the truck and sometimes sometimes we're on these private roads like the officer was there with us on that he's like well I'd stick around and block the road he said but there's probably not going to be any traffic up we were way out of the way up there yeah. but yeah cones out. I put cones out way down the front yeah the we block both sides of the road so, yeah. but yeah we do um, I know William we, we do try I know he's he, he tries to keep us safe and he always reminds me of what it takes to to be safe so I appreciate those messages and and phone calls and I enjoy so yeah anyway call Drop a comment down below. We appreciate that. And we'll see you guys on the next one.